it's me Yasmin. Thank you so much for subscribing and keeping up with me guys. I know I haven't posted in a little bit. Not much has happened. I mean, I'm kind of juggling some jobs around right now. So I'm trying to figure out my life a little bit, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful, beautiful time. The city I moved in is beautiful and sunny and cold, but then also hot, but not really hot anymore. It's like really cold. But anyway, so I'm here and we are on month three of our move in our apartment and we are loving it. We love this area. I miss my family so much, but that's okay. We're gonna see each other very soon, hopefully. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on kind of what's going on. I mean, COVID of course is a big, big issue right now with everybody. And then of course all the craziness happening with the government and with everything else. So we're just hanging in there, trying to do our best here. Honestly, I miss the freedoms that came before this pandemic. I think this whole situation, this whole year, it's been feeling like it's one thing after another with this year. And it's really been testing, I think, a lot of people's ability to be strong and to appreciate the smaller moments. Honestly, I hope with all my might that this is gonna pass very soon. That's all I can do. Nobody, there's nobody else, like we're all going through this together. Nobody can like assure us of anything or help us feel better about this whole situation. We can just do the best that we can do. Focus on the small stuff, I would say. This year I have felt the most anxiety that I have ever felt in my entire life. I was just talking to my friend about this. I am usually a very confident, outgoing person and 2020 has really made, made my emotions the craziest I have ever experienced. And I'm just lucky that I'm a photographer and I love to keep photos and everything like that handy. In fact, like I feel like right now would be a nice time to take some pictures. I think I might take some pictures. Get creative. Huh. There's a lot of different things that have been happening. I got a, a new fish tank a while back and I was thinking about doing a, like a whole starting your first fish tank kind of video because there's a lot to learn, but like it's, it's just, I have a plant love now. Like I'm super all, all about plants. I like all about fish now. I think a lot of us have been getting into our creative lives, right? So that's fun. The update video was supposed to be a little bit more detailed about what's going on, but we're just kind of hanging in there like everybody else. And I've been really into the island game on the N Nintendo Switch. Animal something? I forgot. Oh my gosh. Please comment down below. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will fi I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the description. But I have been in love with that game and I have been playing it. So yeah really just trying to stay safe out there guys i know i've just been having a lot of anxiety and i'm gonna figure out something that works for me if you guys know something that works for you that's great please let me know i think i might like talk about i think this video might legitimately just be titled anxiety during covid or something because that's pretty much all i'm talking about and also the fact that this i i have never been this anxious guys covid has not helped it's like throw me overboard by seeing everybody else anxious at the same time, just like, we needed, I feel like we've been missing somebody to calm us down, somebody to, to really just say, listen guys, I know you guys are scared. I know you guys are anxious and I understand COVID is serious, but also like, it's not even about like the statistics, like throw that all out of your head. It's just about, it's not even like what about the news says or anything like that. Just forget about it. It's about the paranoia of the country of the world right now. Like the social media doesn't make it easier. The news doesn't make it easier. Freaking president, I'm sorry, but he doesn't make it easier. Like, it's just like, we're not together and we need that. You know, we need to be together guys. Cause this is the only way we're gonna get through it. And I know I only have like a hundred followers or whatever on this, this platform, but I'm sad because there's not a lot of hope that's coming out right now. So anybody who listens to this, if you have any impact on the world and people. I encourage you to like talk about this a little bit more. The fact of anxiety during COVID and how we can all be better for each other. Yeah, that'll be good. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And hopefully I'll have something more exciting for you coming up soon. Bye.